they work hard, so we they play hard Talk about touchy issues No, no time to stress on Lady Circle Yeah, yeah, this is Lady Circle this is the perfect way to start another episode of the Lady Circle. That one is from the Lynx Entertainment Camp and almost a day. Also vibrating, vibrating, vibrating. Whatever DSL said, it's mm -hmm. up to him. A deja vu. Have you heard of deja vu before? It's like something that you think you've done before or you've been there before. You know what they call what deja vu? What are you seeing? What are you seeing? I feel like I've been here before. Deja what are you vu? seeing? You feel like you vibrated? Could be my imagination. Oh. Oh. Vibrate. Vibra I said, have we done this before? <laughs> it feels so familiar. <laughs> deja vu. Uh, really? No. Nice. Anyways, anyways. Good, good to, to see, see you, ladies. This is what she does in the room. She's just like, <laughs> Yeah, vibrating. <laughs> this is our first time vibrating. We are vibrating in this new season of the Ladies Circle. Ladies, you look absolutely beautiful. You're Thank radiating. You, I mean, the coloring is it's coloring. coloring. The orange and orange. orange. The orange and the yellow. It's actually. Uh, I feel popping. like that emoji. You know the one on. Ah, the on one that is running and is ooh. Yeah, yeah that's the one. Easy, easy, <laughs> easy, easy, Helen. How have you ladies been? We've been good. I mean, it's still the month of March. Mm -hmm. We love March, right? Yeah, yeah. TV3, yeah. you know, I mean, when it gets to March, the Ghana month, mm. everything, all the activities, I absolutely love it. But how's it going for you, ladies? Uh, it is Ghana month, you know, I'm a proud Ghanaian, so I love being able to Are see Are you a Ghana. proud Ghanaian? Yes, of course. Really? Bube, just drop a bet for oh, us. drop a bet. In English? Oh, in, in French. French. All right, listen. Yeah. Let's get into let's, it. Let's, the Lady Circle is made possible <laughs> by some very heavyweight sponsors. Let's say a big thank you. First one going out to Yaz Sanitary Pad and our newest kid on the blog, Tinatet Vinicare. Well, they've been with us last season and they're still with us. We love their support. It's Onga Seasoning Powder for all your soups and stews. And we always say here, if you want your people to mm. lick their, their fingers mm. after they finish eating your food, you want to just do a little sprinkle yeah. of Onga in mm. there, as well as Tasty Tom. In fact, if you add the two, then the food condemn. You mm. have killed them. Beautiful meal for me, the part of the lady circle as well. Time now mm. to zoom into mm. our special girl. Love it. Do it. And you know something? A lot of people do not know that most of the beautiful music videos we've seen. Mm. She's a creative mind behind all of the, you know, you know the props and those things yeah. that they do. Like Charlie, huh? Hello, let me borrow your words. Mm. Yes, go Let on. the profile do what? The, the talking. talking. Mm -hmm. This is Sabina Baba Amwabanono, born on the 19th of December 1991. She attended Ghana National College, followed by the University of Cape Coast. After her studies there, she traveled to the United States, where she worked and studied set design and craft for two years. As well as being the co-founder and manager of Tegon Creative Studios, she is also the creative director of Wonderland. She has worked on monumental events such as the Global Citizens Festival, Ghana Music Awards, Miss Malaika, Emmy Magazines, Tidal Rave and many more. She has worked with a plethora of companies which includes TV3, Lynx Entertainment, MX24, YFM and many others alongside working with directors like Rex, x Bills, Gina Du, and KP Salom. Her artist inventory stretches from Kitty, Stoneboy, all the way to Sika Ose, Ajete Anang, and many, many more. Sabina, welcome. Ooh, such an amazing lady. And so ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Baba Amwaba. No. no one should say anything bad about Beyonce. Whilst what? Baba is sitting here, I oh. beg you, she's the president of the Beehive Club. Wow. Right? Right there. Right there. Right there. Yes. Right there. What's your favorite Beyonce song? Um, I was here. Oh. I don't Ooh, even know that. I, don't I even. was here. I love. I love. I, I I'm not here. the biggest Beyonce stan, but I recognize that she's amazing, talented, <laughs> and all of that. Let's forget about that. She's, she's okay, Beehive. She's okay, Rihanna's better. <laughs> Hey. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Baba, again, it's good to see you. Thank what have you, you been doing aside uh, organizing the internal affairs of the Beehive? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing much. Like, I actually don't have um, more of a social life, so it's always 
me and me and me with my role with my work every day in the studio i'm a studio rat so yeah yeah you're always working always working would you consider setting up beehive accra chapter ah, i don't mind at all yeah, some ideas <laughs> to keep you not feeling too bored and you know overworked i don't mind at all <laughs> we will there's more to dive in with baba everything interior everything set design she's a creative genius and we're going to pick her mind today to see how she comes up with all her amazing concepts but before we do that yes does have a message for you now there's a whole new range of yas products ladies the minty the herbal everything you need for that time of the month yas has you covered only problem because the purple experience is absolutely lit we're going for a quick commercial break when we come back more on the lady circle see you soon you're still watching the lady circle here on tv3 hashtag the lady circle keep the comments coming we absolutely love the participation just like the music said we are blessed we have been blessed mm. by the guest in the studio she's a force to reckon with when it comes to um, interior design art direction i mean have you heard of wonderland have you been to Wonderland? If you have, you know exactly what I am talking about. It is Baba of Tygon Creative Studios. Baba, how are you doing? I'm fine, I'm fine. Baba, you know, one of our favorite artists here, apart from, of course, every single artist in the Lings family, wink, wink, <laughs> is say, say, say what? Mona for real. Mona for real. And I know when it comes to art direction, you actually do, you yeah. know, the art direction for most of yeah. her videos. Mm -hmm. What is that experience like first before we get into the meat of the issue? Okay, so the experience with Mona is different. Let me just say, when I am art directing or creating set designs for her, I don't know, I get to explore, I get to do the things that I really want to do because she's a woman mm. and then she loves the things that, you know, we women love, like the colors yeah. and everything. So you see with the boys, there's little you could do to make the colors pop, but when mm. you just meet your match and you know that this, this person really likes colors and likes colorful things, you get to be creative, uh -huh. like yes. do all that you have to do and then go all out. There is no budget. Let me see. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. there's no budget. Have there's you no budget like that. <laughs> yeah, I see. So you can go have all full in. Rain. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Tell us about you know working in the film industry as um, an art director, as a creative, you know, someone that comes up with these all these creative ideas. Mm. Has it been challenging working in the Ghanaian you know industry, industry, music, film? When it comes to film as direction, it goes hand in hand. And yeah, of course. I, I don't ever think there is a day where I would say there is no challenge or there would never be a challenge or it would go away because my work and hours that goes into it is just pet and Ebola. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can, we can work around it, we can schedule, we can plan, but mm. then the challenge is always the challenge because it's always going to be the hours invested in the work. With mm. mine, everybody gets to see the glitz and glam, like the yes. overall thing. But nobody actually knows what goes into it. Do you know so, it's interesting seeing Baba with a hammer? <laughs> really? Working yes, I'm always, very hands-on. Like, yes. I'm always like in the studio, like I clean now, I'm just... <laughs> you know, I've always thought that, okay, maybe she tells the people, oh, hammer here, fix this there. Oh, yeah, now I think now I'm getting a hang of that, okay. doing like getting help, say, oh, do this. But when I started at first, I thought, oh, I clean, I sweep, I hammer, I nail. I, like, I do basically everything I know how to do. So sometimes when it comes to the studio, so you won't see me. I, mm. I don't think you will see me as maybe an art director or maybe a manager or anything. I'm just with my people doing what we have to do because at to the end of the day it needs to look like what it has to look like and yes. i have to deliver yes. i have only one job in life and it's to deliver yes, so, yes. and you always do deliver from the have you know to. vgmas to global citizen wow. to some of the biggest you know events that we've actually yeah. seen in ghana how long does it usually take for you to you know put like a set together for from conceptualization to actually you know doing making it, it? Um, it's, it differs. Okay. It depends. Like, it all depends on the projects. Where maybe if it's just a music video, sometimes it all depends on what the director wants. Mm -hmm. You bring in, like maybe there is a concept for me to see, and I just have to bring it to life. So mm. some is very short. Some can take two days, three days, a week. It depends. It all depends on what is in the script, like what we have to do. So yeah. Yeah. It's just 
Interesting. And you know, the, the, the amazing thing is that we followed each other on Instagram. Yes, for, baby. For, for, for a whole, like, you're my best friend on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> for years. And you know when she, I used to see her make, uh, maybe she would she pick like a purse, add some glitters and, and those tiny, tiny, tiny pieces. Have you seen her bottles? I've seen her, you know. <laughs> and then, boom. I started seeing different stuff on Instagram. I'm like, okay, wait, 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 wait. When did it What's start happening? On? Did you have to go to school for that? Because I thought it was, you know, that oh, she'll pick a jack, change it and make it look very girly. It was those girly, girly stuff. How did you transition from that to creating masterpieces? So, yeah, I think, first of all, I think I've always had it in me. You see, when you have an eye for, I have an eye for nice things, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I've always had it in me, but then... At a point, I think we all grow and sometimes you don't find yourself. Like, for me, I can say that I found myself, like, later in life. It wasn't growing up. I could do it, but I didn't know, oh, okay, I could have a career in this or oh. this is going to fetch me. I'm going to be something out of this. I just thought, it's a thing. But, yeah, when after NSS I got the opportunity to travel to the States, that's when I saw all the arts around me and then mm. I, I got to know that, oh, there is actually a career out of these little things that I actually don't even think is going wow. to be anything at all. Mm. So I delved into online courses here and there, going to photo museums here and there, and I knew, like, when I am there in the photo museum, the self museums, I see myself, I'm happy, I'm free. I could actually tell, this is where I want to be. This, oh. this is my life. Wow. But then it wasn't there in the States. <laughs> I couldn't... I, I said, no, 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 I'm coming back home. Like, <laughs> I can't be here. I love it, but I knew I had to come and create it here. Because yeah. I know Ghanaians, yeah. we are creative people. We love exactly. art and culture. So mm. why not come here, do the Wonderland thing, create it in December? It's a festive season so that everybody would come in here, experience yeah. the joy. I'm here, to, I'm here to experience it. Ah. I'm surprised I haven't gone to experience it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because I've seen all the wonderful yeah. pictures. How was it received? What I can, was I the can feedback? Actually, I would create one for TV3. Oh, we're holding you to this one. <laughs> you know what we want you to do, Baba. You know what we want you to do. So you create wax pieces of Sika. Yes. Um, Helen, myself, you know how, you know, so... Like yeah. Madame Tussauds. Madame Tussauds. Yeah. TV3, Madame Tussauds. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, you know, you have our pictures. You add a bit of Beyonce to the hair. Right there. Add a bit of, you know, the hair. Sika, that, you know, the promo we shot, the hair, yeah. oh, you, she has to see it, goodness. add it to it. We, we want that, you know. People come here, come take videos, take pictures, like Peffy and Co. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't only create the pieces, she slays in the pieces. Yeah. So, Baba, is there a difference between art direction and interior design, or are they subsets of each other? Yeah, I think they're subsets of, of each other. Interior design basically is just dear towards like one particular thing like rooms like yes. offices mm. anything you can, but art direction and creative direction is basically creating nothing out of a plain canvas like mm. there is a plain sheet or plain foundation for you to build on so like yeah. interior design maybe you would have even though the house has been built already you get to do your skimmininis in in there but then your you know, we are always learning new words There's here on the new word, no <laughs> word. <laughs> Helen, what, what did she say? Screaming. <laughs> In there, but then when it comes to um, art direction, set design, you would just have to, even if it has to come to building the house, yeah. you would have to do it because it's just a make-believe, something for the screen. So you just have to build it from scratch and then... Mm. Yeah. Baba, I'm curious, what has been the most complex um, set that you, you, you've done? Just give yeah. us an idea. In the beginning year, I remember my first experience as like a set designer where mm -hmm. I thought I didn't know much about it because it was my first music video I had to do. That's the Say Cheese remix. Oh. And so then there's this thing like when you put platforms on there for like maybe the back of a stage or something, you just have to undrain it. I don't know what, I don't actually know the right word for it, but that's what they say in the industry, mm. undrain. So you have to put that thing on it and then maybe after you paint it, it has to be smooth for you to get a smooth finish mm. and then after you paint. So yeah, I didn't actually, because was, that was my first time um, working with that and I didn't really do my research well. Oh boy. Oh. At all. But I didn't know it takes hours for the thing to, to dry. dry. Mm. For everything to work out, I think I was being smart about it. Let's just paint on it. So maybe when it's dry, we put fans, air conditioning on so that when it's dry, everything will dry together. Mm -hmm. That was the <laughs> test of <laughs> the true wow. nature of life. And then we painted it and that 
it, it can't be done. You can't mix paint with andrine. It makes it longer to dry, so it spoils everything. everything. Oh, no. So the shoots that were supposed to start at 9 a.m. started at 10 p.m. What? Wow. They waited? Oh. Oh, can't, well, you have a choice. <laughs> you will wait because, like, there's money in it. It's production. Like, money goes into it. Everybody has been paid. There's not like they are going to pay for another cast and crew or, like, models to come. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. I deserve it. If they insulted me, please. Thank you. <laughs> like that, that made me learn a bit more. So, I realized, me, there is no way in hell. Even if you are paying me thousand billion dollars, there is no way in hell I would do my set that on the day. Because mm. I learned from that. So mm. it's either a day before or two days after. I book the studio. Let me do the work. Because that is my work too. I don't have to give you some low quality job just because mm. you want. Because like, it's representing you as you. well. Exactly. And it goes like, that's beautiful. But I want to find out, have you done something? We know you've done amazingly well. You've done beautiful pieces. But have you ever done something and feel like this one, you killed it. But some stubborn clients be... Nah, I don't like it. You have to change it. Mm. All of that. Have you had that experience? Oh, I Something have. that stressed mm. you out. Man. I have, I have. It's the good. very first time in my life, I, was, I had to create something that wasn't nice. A room that wasn't nice. How? Like, create a poor person's room. Like, oh. you know, create... Uh, mm. I hadn't... It's good. It's art direction. It's set design. I have to learn it. I mean, that was my first time. So, mm. I have to create a poor... Uh, not poor, like... Who need that disheveled? Yeah. Pure mm. destitution. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Something like that. And then, so, me thinking, oh, I have killed this <laughs> poor room. Like, I have done what I'm supposed to do. Like, this is the, mo the most terrible thing I've ever done in my life. But it's mm -hmm. up to bad because that's, the, that's what the clients want. So, I finished everything. The clients came in. said, oh, Baba, this is too nice. Eh? Oh, and I said, how bad do you want this <laughs> to look? How poor do you how want the room poor, to be? How poor do you want this room to look at? Mm. This is my, the best of my best. He said, no, this is nice. So, like, I put the Etikopo TV that is not mm. even nice. That is mm. basta, basta. The rooms, I, I painted it with dust, like dirt and mm. everything. He said, it's not, I have to make it more wretched, more... Hmm. It was a test. And that was a challenge. That mm. was a challenge. And, oh... After, after a day or two, everything came together. Came together. Beautifully, nastily. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Love. But now, do you make money? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do. Uh, I do. something I can do. Oh. Even if the money is good, tell me so that I... Oh, my darling. Yeah. Like, in life, you see what you are doing. You are excelling at it. Mm. Proper, proper. So, I'm making money out of it. So, no, I no, believe... No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> Make it look like I, don't let social media fool you. No. There's room for improvement. There's more room for improvement. Room I can for add then 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 creative studios. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do uh, let me have another land. I can this. do another land. Oh, you yeah. can. Now Anita, Anita, Anita land. Anita land. Right there. Oh, please. Christmas. Let me be your, let me be your partner. <laughs> yeah. Anita <laughs> land. You guys should link up. This is how we do it here on the Lady Circle. Making business connections. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. But take her but, number. But then, take her number. The Lady <laughs> Circle <laughs> has to get a cut. Eh? Yes. Do you understand? Of because we created the connection. That's yeah. right. This so did you create the connection? If I, Sika and I gave the name Anita land. We have we have equity in that. Okay, Watch just out. Exit. But so we all have the energy together. to come and paint and let it drive for like. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I learned my lesson, so that's how I'm going to teach you to be better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You wouldn't, I make the mistake. I just, so I you just relax. Make that mistake. Baba, paint that. Baba, it dry. Oh, Baba, oh, let that. I, I love that one because you pay me nicely. <laughs> so yeah, it's you, not a Baba, you're a boss lady. You're a CEO. <laughs> Thank you, Baba. You started Tygon Creative Studios. Obviously, when you started, you didn't think it was going to work out. Yeah. There was a lot of opposition. People saying, "Oh, be this thing. What is it? You're I wasting your time." I chose faith over fear. Yeah. Yes. Tell us about that process. Yeah. Building Tygon. Mm. Okay, so um, I think. It all started when I entered in this industry, this art direction industry, and I realized there are no many options for me to be able to feel free and do the things I want to do. So, Because mm. basically, it's either you are going to a location to yeah. transform the yeah. place or you are building from scratch. And with the location, it's challenging because, like, in, let's say I've come to rent your home for mm -hmm. a music video, a film, or anything. There's a particular way 
you don't want it to look after we are gone because yeah it's your space it's painted you don't want the walls uh, broken painted differently change the floor done anyway so yeah there's little it's challenging because there's little to what i can do yeah. in those spaces rather yes. than creating my own and starting from scratch but in so, your own space you can do whatever ever. you want so that actually gingered me enough to say you know what i have to do this yeah like, this thing has to be done so because if i have there is this it's like you understand i have something in my mind that i want to bring out and there's not giving me i'm not getting the platform to do it i would ha rather have to create it and then be able to do what i have to do so that yeah that's all all this but you get like you know people maybe challenging you because you know you're a female and you're really you know your baba is really little she's very unassuming you don't even sometimes you don't even know that she's the person who's in charge because you go and she's sweeping yeah. and things like that oh thank Do you. you thank you for asking me that so is that thing yeah hmm. it's oh, sad totally. <laughs> it's sad because sometimes eh you'll be in the studio like maybe inside i won't be in the office or anything so i'll be there i've got different scenarios where somebody comes in and they'll say like you just assist them oh hi how may i help you they go like i want to i want to talk to the manager hey <laughs> okay so it's either i say please talk to me and then they ask like what's this like i want to talk to a man like you know yeah, yeah female what can you do for me like mm. i want to talk to the manager and i was like i'm the manager can you talk to me and before they will look at you somewhere like ah you cannot be, I, I don't even understand whether you can't be a manager or you can't handle what you're handling or whatever. Some two would come and then they wouldn't even want to talk to the female. They would rather talk to my male employees, you know, like, because they think they know better. What does a woman know? So they'll just go around going, talking to them. When the thing doesn't source, go around, 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 they finally come to me <laughs> and <laughs> their work still gets done. But it's very sad that I have to experience these things. I don't know why, but... Maybe it would. That's yeah, why. but I don't know why they it do that. It should be that to way. Us. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. They never ever want to acknowledge that you are the one doing this. They want to think it's a male that yeah. is behind all this. Mm. It's sad, but that is life is not fair. That's the reality. At the end of the day, once you're winning and you're making the. As it doesn't matter at all. Well, we, can't, we, we can't be bothered. We can't at all. We at really, all. really cannot be bothered. But, but you're doing amazing, Thank Baba. you, darling. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. So amazing. Sometimes I see the stuff you post and um, I've seen the pictures. And, I mean, there was one that was projected not, not too long ago. And I'm like, ah, so those little, little bottles. Ah, you have to paint everything mm -hmm. one by one. Everything. Hey. Wow. Like, it's everything. a lot of work. It's yeah. a whole lot of work. And what are you doing in the Wonderland again? Oh, it's, I only do it in, in December. December. Oh, yeah. this year I am making please, an appearance. Please. There's one particular lady, Rajwa. She's always posting yeah. all yeah. that stuff. Always and I'm like, ah, this girl that she's always. sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts to her, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And Rajwa is always posting, you An know. An official yeah. Wonderland See. ambassador. Uh, yes, that's what I call her, though. Yeah. Wow, oh, exciting goodness. stuff. I mean, I'll come for some, you know, bits and pieces, how to spice things up. You get it? Mm. Yes, 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 yes. But speaking of spicing things up, a few um, weeks ago, there was a trending video, yeah. you know, Baba had gone on the day show with Bella, you know, there was a few things discussed, etc., etc. something about a shiny, you know, piece of jewelry on her finger. I was like, what's this? What's all this? What's all the this? The pressure is getting What's better. all this? Tiny piece of jewelry. Where is it? Where is it? It's here everywhere. What, what are you talking about? And then you know, you know, a discovery was made that you know, Baba was you know, in a, in a situation. You know what? He's struggling. I know. I don't understand. Because the eye Baba is giving me. Eh? Baba is giving me. I understand. Baba is giving. And he let me pass it on to you because Baba is too close to home. Oh, Baba, we know you are associated highly, <laughs> very, very highly, closely associated, knit. Uh, into the Lynx family and oh let me say it as it is you and our very own brother you know he's he's a brother to us when it comes to tv3 he's oh, a mentor nice, and all nice. of that <laughs> and so if I, you guys know what i'm talking about oh nice um when is the wedding well oh i, I actually i don't know yet but congratulations oh, oh let you. us see the ring <laughs> oh, wow so, helen this this could be you this could be you. Oh, but it's beautiful. beautiful. But you're playing around. Wow. <laughs> what did it happen? I'm curious. 
Oh, but I, like Sika mentioned, the day show, I, I said everything. Well, this is the lady said, we want oh. our school. Oh, yeah. 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 has gotten yeah. hers already. We yes. want ours. So, you see, you, you guys are ladies. So mm. today, I'm coming to... I'm coming to talk so that ah, talk. you understand. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, you thought yeah, there was going to be it. no purpose here. No, I'm we love it. We love it. So that we love it. So people speaking, people. speaking about talking, because you know, ladies, one of the things we like to talk mm -hmm. about is we envision what our wedding is going to look like, mm -hmm. the theme of the wedding, what our outfit is going to, you know, everything exactly. about the wedding. Yeah, so yeah. give us details about, you know, because yeah. I know you've envisioned that you've created, you've art de decorated oh. it. Yeah. So we give have. us, give us an idea. We have the and also, mine already. don't worry, it's done. You are invited, but Ooh. also you guys are, um, you guys are ladies, mm -hmm. and you, we share the same sentiments, and mm -hmm. we already talking about how these male-dominated industry they oh, look down things. upon <laughs> me, you know. <laughs> So like when I'm given the platform, like Lady Circle, my God, to talk about my work, why then do you? <laughs> hey, but what you say? You didn't, you didn't shy away from me. But, but can we, can we man. say? But can we say? But can we also? But can we say? Like though, a Baba. man, a man, he's not making me. I no, Baba, he's not. But can she, we say? Though? I am the. <laughs> you are the. the the Thank Beyonce of the Thank you. art deco Thank in the Ghana in the middle in the, in the, in the but she okay, can't but, but, no, but, she can't it, but can, she I, can we say though I think it is also beautiful mm. when you have a supportive partner oh and shout out to baby thank you baby but baby 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 Richie and I were actually in school in Christ the King together. Oh, oh, that's right. His mother was my extra class teacher, so <laughs> shout out to Mrs. Mensa. Oh. So I've known Richie from way back. From way, yeah, way back. And he hasn't changed. Very positive, always smiling. Very calm. You know, very calm. Yeah. And it's just so great to see how yeah. he literally supports Baba to yeah. the core. She's in the forefront, and he's happy with that. He doesn't want oh, you know, any... I, I really can't be bothered. I mean, she's doing amazing. Oh, thank you, baby. I know, I he know. Has you have you, you support me. Maybe I can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> we see how supportive know. he is. Um, you know, with your way. Just kakra, just oh, kakra. Oh, right? yeah, ladies, right. circle, right. you and I. What's your... What's your... What's your... Just, just, just... But you two make, make such a cute couple. Thank you, baby. Yeah, very, very cute. Thank couple. you. Thank Just you. as the Lord has done it for Baba. <laughs> we shall have it for is. Helen in Jesus. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I love that. Yes. I, love that. I, love that. Yeah. I want that. to receive it. Wherever I, I reach I mean, how do we know this is not a cover up and my beloved is watching? Beloved, good evening. <laughs> Is you know when you yeah. have a woman who is talented, creative, supporter. driven, a supporter, yes. so she can yeah. create and do amazing things like Baba and Richie. Baba, come <laughs> like Baba later. is not and Richie. We don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's been it's been great so far speaking to Baba. We have so much more coming up on the Lady Circle.